Hey, North Rock Church. Well, welcome to day three of 21 days of prayer. Today, we're going to be looking at the third chapter in the book of John. And this is such an incredible chapter because it has the well-known verse in it, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. It's really the ultimate declaration of love in this verse, that God didn't just see a fallen world and he didn't just feel the weight of it, but he chose to do something about it. And he gave his most precious gift, his son, Jesus. And it's really an example for all of us to live by, to know what does true love really mean? How are we supposed to love God and ultimately love others? But I actually wanna back up in this chapter to the very beginning where it tells a story of a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus had actually sought out Jesus late one evening with kind of the intentions to interview him. Jesus was telling him about what it means to be born again. Well, Nicodemus thought this was absurd. How could someone, an adult, be born again? It's probably a question that all of us have wrestled with at some point in time, really wondering what that means. But to be born again is to be made new. It's to have new life in Christ. And that is what Jesus was trying to get across to Nicodemus. The Apostle Paul actually referenced it, references it later on in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 when he says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, and it is made new. The new is here. That's what it is all about. You see, when we surrender our lives to Christ, we're not just surrendering our lives to become a better version of ourselves. We're surrendering so that the God of the universe can make our hearts new, that we can be cleansed, that we can start fresh. I wanna encourage you as you take reference or take inventory of your life in the coming weeks and months, that you wouldn't just search to be made better, but that you would ask the Lord, what areas of my life do I need to surrender so that I can be made new in you? I want to encourage you in that. God can do incredible things through you if you take that step and you surrender. So in the next few, few weeks as we're going through this 21 days of prayer, I want to challenge you to seek Him, to go deep in His Word, to be intentional in your time in prayer. And I'm confident if you do those things, God will reveal himself to you in ways that you never thought possible. In those areas that you've asked him to make clean and to make new, he's gonna show up and he's going to do it. I'm excited for you as you journey through these next 21 days of prayer. I'm praying for you. God bless and have a great day.